Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 79th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to do something very interesting. We are going to learn to execute a C program in the Linux environment. So as you can see I have my Ubuntu desktop here and Ubuntu is a Linux distribution and you can use Fedora too or for that matter Red Hat Linux or any Linux or Unix distribution and the instructions that we are going to learn in this tutorial you can follow those instructions and you can create C programs and execute those programs and uh, it's really very simple and the program that we're going to make is also going to be very simple we're just going to have one printf statement in the program that's going to display a message on screen and the idea is to not discuss any new feature of the C programming language but the idea is to know how we can execute a program that uh, is written you know in C and how we can execute it in uh, Linux right so to create the program I'll use the gedit text editor program that comes with almost all Linux distributions right so before typing any code I would uh, save the file first and I'll give it the name hello underscore world dot c and the dot c extension here is very important right so you have to put in this extension if you would do it then uh, you know the text editor that we're using gedit would know that this is a c file and it'll automatically uh, you know get in the syntax highlighting features for c programs you know that uh, would be it would be cool if you would have those so i select the folder i'll save this file in the home folder click on the save button so the file is saved now and i'll type in my code getting the header file first to do that I'll type in hash include stdio dot h and uh, the next line I'll type in the keyword main it's so the main function declaration is done and then I'll uh, type in printf and within double quotes for printf I'll just display the message hello youtubers with an exclamation mark put a semicolon at the end to terminate the statement on the last line I'll put the closing curly brace for main I'll save the file and uh, I'll minimize this window and then I'll access the terminal so I've saved the terminal in the sidebar here I've created a link for it but if you don't have it here then you can search for it in the applications go to dash and then just search for terminal and it's uh, an application that looks like this so you know those of you who have also seen my shell scripting series for know what this is and how this works but uh, those of you who come from Windows um, well this is like the command prompt that you have in Windows right so just as you shoot commands uh, you, in the CMD program in Windows you have this program here in the shell basically interprets your commands and it executes uh, whatever you ask it to do so um, we have this thing and uh, what you have to do is you have to use the GCC command to invoke the compiler right and uh, what we're going to do first is we'll have to create the object code or executable code from the C program that we made and we would also have to store it in some file that we can later on execute right so to create the object code you have to type in the command GCC and you have to invoke it with the option hyphen O right and this is because we're creating object code now and you would also have to tell it the name of the file in which you want the object code to be stored so I let that be test and then you have to give a space and then type in the name of the file that con contains your C code which in this case is hello underscore world dot C and when I will press the enter key I would see that I don't get any message but that's a good thing actually because if I had errors in my C programs and C program then those errors would have been listed here so since I don't see anything it means that the object code has been stored in this file test so to execute it you have to put in the period first then the slash and then you have to type in the name of the file which is test so when I would press the enter key now I would see that my message hello tubers with youtubers with the exclamation symbol is displayed so if I want uh, the shell or the prompt to be displayed on the next line then I can put it put the new line escape sequence at the end here before the closing double quotation mark of the printf statement so if I do this and save the file and let me minimize this and let me first clear the terminal window and execute this command first because we would want the object code to be created uh, again because we made changes to our source file and then I'll uh, shoot this command and we would see now that we get our message on one line and then we get the dollar prompt on a separate line 
so that's it for now i'm gonna see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching this tutorial i hope you guys had fun and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and take care